Hello and welcome to the very first update for the fall 2020 semester. My name is Michelle and I'm going to be your guide each week during the semester to help you set your inner compass and know what's happening at Bridge Valley. And I'm going to give you updates from all different areas of the college. So you'll get student affairs updates, academics, operations, updates from the president's office. I'm gonna do my best to keep you on track so you know what's happening each week. I know with all the emails that we get, it can be a little overwhelming. So this is your home to come back to, to make sure that you've got your orientation set for the week. So be sure to subscribe down below and give us a like and turn on the notifications if you'd like to get these updates first. Now, I know the start of the semester is a little bit different than usual because, of course, the coronavirus situation. And what I need you to do is make sure that you are checking your emails over the course of the semester. You're going to get all kinds of updates from your instructors, from the college. And so first things first, be sure to check your emails. Now, the college has put most of its classes either online or remote virtual. So many of you will not be coming to campus at least at the start of the semester. So definitely log in, check your schedule. If it is labeled as web, it's a traditional online course through Blackboard. If it is labeled as remote, what that means is you should be getting a Zoom link to give you a way to connect with your instructor during the set course date and time. So if your courses are Monday, Wednesday at 11 o'clock, you would log into Zoom during that time and you would still have your face-to-face -face with the instructor. The instructor can lecture. You can ask questions very much like a typical course. It's just being conducted remotely and you don't have to come to campus. Now, if it is labeled mixed mode, what that means is that some of it will be remote or web-based and some of it will be on campus. And if you have not received instruction from your faculty member yet, please email and reach out. That way you know when you have to come to campus. You might only have to come to campus a few times. You might have to come to campus once a week. It just depends on the course. And our faculty are doing their best to space out their sections. That way there's not too many people in a room at once and to give folks the chance for the hands-on training that they need, but trying to do it in as safe as way possible. And that actually leads me nicely to our coronavirus campus response plan. So it's called the COVID-19 response plan. It is on the Bridge Valley coronavirus page. There's a box on the homepage you can click to get there, or you can just go bridgevalley.edu slash coronavirus. And that is your place to go and check every week if there's any sort of update you need to know. There's also a link to that plan. And I want to make sure everybody is aware, first of all, that you might not even be coming to campus this fall, depending on your course schedule. It's the more hands-on lab type things that are going to be on campus and everything else will be remote or web-based. But if you do have a class that you have to come to campus, you need to know that you need to wear a face covering. And this is defined in the plan. It needs to cover your nose and your mouth. It needs to be tied on the sides of your face and it can't have mesh or holes or anything like that. And this is for your protection as well as the protection of the college community. We are asking folks to socially distance. So while you're on campus and you're in the hallways and in the classroom, be sure to stay six feet at least apart from each other. And also keep track of your own health. If you are feeling sick or if you have any of the COVID-19 symptoms, please do not come to campus. Email your instructor and let them know what's going on. But if you are not feeling well, please do not come to campus. There's more information in the COVID-19 response plan, but I wanted to make sure I hit on the big ones. So face coverings, social distance, and please do not come to campus if you are not feeling well. And some of your classes, when you go in, they will actually do temperature checks and things like that. So be aware that it's going to be a little bit different on campus, at least at the start of the semester. With such a focus on things being online and remote, I know that there are going to be IT questions. And this week, we have Adam Farrell, our IT director, to give you a little bit of information on how to reach out to them. Thanks, Michelle, and hello, Pathfinders. 
I and the rest of the IT department have definitely missed getting to see you and assist you in person like we normally do. We are still here for you during this time. Many of you have already been in contact with us, but for those of you who do not know what we do or how to get in touch with us, let me give a brief overview. Our department will be able to assist you if you are having issues with your student email, Microsoft 365 account, Teams and Zoom video calls for your classes, and more. We have created an FAQ page on our website that can assist you with many of the questions you might have. To find that, go to www.bridgevalley.edu forward slash IT dash department, or just go to our homepage and scroll down and look for the box that says need help logging in, click here for help. On that page, we have frequently asked questions with categories that the IT department can assist you with. Hopefully one of those FAQs will answer your question, but if not, please complete the form on the page and a technician will be in contact with you to assist you further. Our office is open Monday through Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and on Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You may also contact us by emailing helpdesk at bridgevalley.edu. If you need assistance with a password reset to your MyBridge account or assistance with Blackboard, please contact the WVNet Help Desk 24-7 by contacting them at 1-800-253-1558 and press option 1. We hope you have a wonderful semester and we are excited to assist you along the way. Thanks, Adam. Our Student Government Association has been very active in the spring semester and they've been planning things this summer and they are doing a welcome week this week. So check your emails. There are some Zoom links for you to participate in their Donut Panic. And this gives you a chance to get some face-to-face -face time, learn more about your student government representatives, and let them know the issues you care about and what activities you'd like to see happen over the course of the semester. So there are going to be some welcome back activities, and to be sure to check out the student government Zoom links to get in touch with them. Speaking of student affairs, I am excited to announce that Dr. Todd Jones has joined Bridge Valley as our Vice President for Student Affairs, and I'll turn it over to him for a little bit of an introduction and an overview of some of the things happening this semester. Hello, Bridge Valley students. My name is Dr. Todd Jones, and I'm the new Vice President of Student Affairs at Bridge Valley. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to the start of the fall at 2020 academic year. I just moved here from Georgia at the end of July and I thought I'd take a moment just to share a little bit of information about myself. I have over 30 years of experience in higher education and I married my college sweetheart and we have been married for 27 years. We have two children. My daughter is a senior in college and my son is a sophomore in college. We also have a chocolate lab who just graduated obedience school but she still has a lot to learn. Obviously, this year is going to be a much different year uh, than in the past due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Bridge Valley made the decision for the safety of you and our employees to close the campus to the public this fall. This means the majority of our classes will be offered online as well as any programs or events we have planned. It's important to keep in mind that if you are participating in a class that meets on campus or perhaps you attend one of our events that are held on campus, that you follow all current COVID guidelines. That includes wearing a mask that covers your nose and, and mouth and that you practice social distancing. We will also be limiting the number of individuals in any building or classroom during this time. Wearing a mask not only protects you, but helps protect the most vulnerable in our society. So please be a good citizen and wear a mask. Despite COVID, we are working hard to provide you with a number of programs and events this fall. A few examples include our popcorn and paint series, where one of our faculty will teach you to paint and draw online. We will also be hosting several outdoor movies in our, at our Montgomery campus. And we will be, for the first time, 
offering a Bridge Valley Idol contest. For more information about these events and others, please continue to monitor your Bridge Valley email as this is the official form of communication and you can follow us on Facebook for updates as well. The student affairs team is, continues to work from their homes but you can access uh, information to con contact them through our website uh, under uh, student affairs link. You will find the different departments if you need tutoring, if you need ac accessibility um, uh, assistance, um, if you need advising, uh, financial aid questions, all of these are available online. Our staff are primarily working Monday through Thursday uh, from anywhere from 7 to 7 in the evening depending on the, the department, but email remains one of the best ways to communicate with them. I know this is a difficult time and we are going to do our best to provide programs and get to know you as much as we can, even if it's online or socially distanced. I encourage you to study hard and stay safe uh, this fall. At Bridge Valley, we recognize that a college degree or specialized certification can have a significant impact on your life. And we are going to do everything we can to help you attain your educational goal. Until the next YouTube video, I look forward to seeing you in the near future. Have a great day. I will echo Dr. Jones and wish you a great semester, and I will see you next week.